Hello and welcome to Larry's Topics. I ha think I've solved the... Or can explain the Mandela Effect. You see... How, how do I put it? Alright. The multiverse. Which uh, even science say there's a strong possibility of it. Right? Because there's always a scenario of what if. Well, what if you did this instead of this? What if you did that instead of that? Da 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 da. Right? Well, there's the belief that in each decision you make, branches off uh, into the multiverse. Where, let's say, um, somebody leaves their wallet, right, behind, in, the, in a store, and it's right next to your stuff as you're checking out, and you just, the cashier says, uh, as you, uh, points out, Make sure you grab your wallet. You know, you're like, you look down and you know it's not yours. And you're like, yeah, right. Thanks for reminding me. And you pick it up. You take it out. Now you have two choices. Open the wallet. Take the wallet with you. Leave. Open the wallet. You can either, which some people do, take the cash out of it. And then close the wallet up. Throw the wallet away. Or you have the choice of leaving the money in, turning it into the police, or if the store has a customer service, taking it to the customer service desk and just straight out turning it in after you check the ID, check to see if there's an ID in there. Those are the three choices. Well, with the multiverse, you do this. You do each scenario. One, you keep the money, throw the wallet away. Two, you look in the wallet, find the ID, go to the police station, turn it into the police. Three, is a more, if the store ha, is, if the store has customer service, check the ID, turn it into the front desk. You know, customer service, right? Well, that's the effect of the situation with the multiverse. Something that happened to you in this universe didn't happen to you in the next. Something spelt one way in the universe might not be exactly spelt the same way in the other. And vice versa. Right? So you're sitting there and you're remembering these things. And millions and thousands of people, thousands and millions of people everywhere else remember this more, more details of the thing or... The exact same thing, you know? And it's like, how can we all know this if it's a lie, if it's not real? It was real. It was real. It really happened to you. It really existed. It really was the way you remember it. What happens is, with the multiverse, the series The Flash, CW's The Flash, explains it with the multiverse, that each universe... Oops, Vibrates on its own frequency, energy wave. It's slightly different from the others because you got all these different universes out there. You know, floating around. They're pretty close together, you would assume. You can't tell me at some point they don't bump into each other. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Because if, because if that happened, you know, and there was... There was no kind of divider from it. Stuff like this would happen all the time and we'd eventually catch on. But, if there's an external force or even, I'm assuming, I'm betting on a, a higher internal force, the um, subject of the matter is that something happens to cause the energy uh, vibrations the energy field of the 
universe to vibrate on the same level, the same frequency, the same energy wave, right? And when that happens and they bump into each other, they overlap, it causes them to overlap each other or go into each other so far. But the natural energy of that the universe vibrates on corrects itself and pushes it back. And it's not massive enough where there's major drastic changes, but it happens so much, especially within recent times, especially more recent, that the... Certain things transfer over, and vice versa. Something that was normal here goes over there. Something that was normal there comes over here. And people are noticing what's coming over here is different from what was once there. It's the same thing, but different. Sometimes it happens with people. Sometimes. Don't get me wrong, because there's a lot of hard-to-explain situations. And then... But most of the time when it happens, especially more recent times, that we're starting to really notice, is because of an internal cause, right? And this internal cause is why it's happening more and more. The smaller, minute things that are happening are happening because of the natural Occasional vibration matchup. The more recently occurring ones are being caused by an internal source of the universe. This dimension, or, you know, this this plane of existence, or, or, or this, yeah, this universe. And I know what it is. I'm almost positive. Alright? I've explained it before, and I'm, all, I'm positive this is what's causing it. Because we're noticing it more and more and more. And if scientists were to actually stop and think about the vibration, the, if they could measure the energy output from this, and follow... It outward, the, the this thing is causing. They would be able to identify that that's what's causing the Mandela effect. It's happening because it happened, or the things you remember happened. And what's causing this is an invention that needs to be destroyed. A machine. Scientists need to stop doing it. Even Stephen Hawking says, quit, you're going to destroy the universe. But humans are stupid and don't listen. It's the Hydron Collider in Switzerland. They found the God Particle. What they're doing is... Alright, they're taking these two particles. I think it's an ion and boson particle. And they're... These two big cylinder chambers in the shape of a racetrack, just so to speak. They're so many miles long. One small one smaller than the other. And they drop one particle in the one and the other particle in the other. And they use harmonic reinforcement to make you know, to push the particles to move. And what they're doing after they do this is the the constant pushing of the particles is making them accelerate, you know, like merry-go-round, you know. You get something strong enough and unlike humans and won't wear out and you set it up to push a merry-go-round, you know, it'll push that sucker until it... It'll launch out of the ground and probably smash and destroy something when it lands. Or it could 
eventually tear itself apart. Well, they're doing is they're taking these particles and they're making them go near the speed of light. If not pretty, yeah, near, I'm going to say close to the speed of light. And once they're both at the exact same speed, going opposite directions, mind you, one's going one way and the other's going the other. The one I'm assuming particle that's in that's in the bigger one gets led down into the smaller one. A chamber opens, and it, it gets rerouted to go down into the smaller chamber, or maybe the no, it probably would be the bigger chamber, so it can house the bigger reaction. Well, while they're doing this, they shoot it back in. They shoot it into the other chamber, and what's going to happen is. One particle is going to come flying this way. The other particle is going to go flying that way. All right. You know, like causing a crane cr train crash, car crash, whatever. They made it so they will collide. They're purposely making them crash together. And what that's doing is it's causing a small molecular explosion. And what they're noticing is the molecular explosions are the same as a black hole, but miniature, miniature, right? What happens with any kind of energy explosion, especially if you measure the, the energy level of a black hole forming, you know, a planet imploding and forming into a black hole what happens to that energy the black hole starts off small and the energy from it and its growth coincide each other and it grows the bigger the explosion from it the faster it spreads the more momentum it causes and it causes a fluctuation in energy and in doing so even though they have these harmonic reinforcements, the energy is going to still go outward. And eventually, it's going to spread to the level that it's going to cover the Earth, and it's going to interfere with the natural ener uh, energy field of this universe. And what it's going to do is it's going to make it's going to affect the natural energy vibrations of this universe. And... It's happening more and more is because the, the universes are bouncing back and forth, bumping into each other. And see, we're doing this. It's causing the change in the vibration of the natural energy of the of this universe to mess up and interact and overlap with these other universes. And a lot of things from our universe is getting pulled into their universe. A lot of things from their universe is getting pulled into ours. From the minus, minuscule thing to the major thing like Nelson Mandela. Movie phrases. Uh, celebrity award uh, phrases. Everything. It's because of the Hydron Collider. It's causing a disbalance in the natural energy of our universe. And Stephen Hawking said it best before he died. And that is, tear it down. You're going to destroy us. You're going to ruin everything. You're going to destroy the whole universe and kill everyone. But they won't listen. Everything that's happening, the more major noticeable Mandela effects. Because you got all these weird occasions of people noticing stuff. And now you got, you know, and they were at minuscule levels. All of a sudden, there's a spike in the noticing of what's being called Mandela effects. Come on. Every time they use that machine, it's, it may take a while, but it's going to send out the, the same energy waves. And eventually, they're going to hit our, the natural energy of our universe. And it's going to change the the vibrations of our universe 
the energy vibrations. And we're going to bounce in. You know, it could be the worst thing yet. Worst thing yet. We could um, bounce into each other and, and collide so much so that they could totally destroy us. Or cause physical permanent uh, mal uh, mutations, you know, deformities in that. You, you go to bed, wake up because of this, and you're you're you were tall when you went to bed. You wake up and you're a lot shorter than you were, or you're a lot taller than you were. You know, stuff like that. That is what's causing these Mandela effects to spike. That's why there's more of them. That's why more and more people are noticing. That's what caused, I'm positive, was what caused uh, the city in the clouds that were spotted over Europe and China and that. That's what caused the giants, as they were proclaimed, uh, in the clouds over in New York, where a dude took a picture, and he's looking towards these clouds, and there's silhouettes of people looking back, pointing at us. People are pointing at them, and they're pointing back at us. I'm not a genius, but... It... It makes the most sense when you think about it. But this is Larry. And this is Larry's Topics. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, share. Don't let me down. There's too many coincidences for it to be a coincidence. Like the saying goes, if it looks like a duck, quacks like a duck, sounds like a duck. Most likely is a duck, unless, of course, it's a platypus. Bye.